Hey guys, it's Darkshot the Poisoner here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Alright, now just as Roz told us right before we began this mission, um, there are going to be a few nasty creatures roaming about, and mostly um, these little tiger beasts, and I have forgotten their name, they might come to me. It like begins with a Z. But right off the bat, we need to hustle ourselves on down here, and hopefully save this guy. Nope. Okay, that's pretty much the biggest, the... 100% biggest flaw of this level, and I'm leaving this in simply because it is the biggest flaw, and, and you guys really need to see this because it's incredibly, incredibly difficult to pull this off. That tiger thing that jumps down from the ledge, and you know what, hold on, I'm going to look up the name of the thing. What's it called? 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 Um, an, oh, it's a Nexu. It doesn't begin with a Z. What am I talking about? Yeah, so we actually have to run very quickly, and if we can, pull out our poison darts, and then shoot this thing from a freaking distance. There we go. That's a much better way to do it. Uh, but yeah, he, that guy actually targets um, one of the bounties that we need to pick up in this level, so that's like the first thing uh, we need to get rid of is that um, Nexu thing. And now where'd the bounty go? He, like, disappeared. Hello? Oh, why is he way over there? What the heck? What's going on, buddy? You want to come over here any day? Hey, hey, hey. See, I'm trying not to run over there because I know there's a bunch of guys that appear from around that corner on patrol. So, come over here. And there's also a guy up in that cave over there, and he has rocket launchers. So I'm trying to be sneaky, at least. A little bit. How do you not see me? Are you blind? There we go. Alright, so now that we have that guy, we can continue on and grab something absolutely crucial to this level, which would be... Dun, 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 dun. We grab the sniper rifle. That's going to be our godsend. And the first thing's first, a bunch of guys running over here. And, oh well. Looks like I was a little too late. Usually I like to snipe them, but this way we do get to save a few sniping bolts. I don't mind shooting these guys at the ground. It's the uh, guy in the upper right that tends to get annoying because he has that rocket launcher. So I'm going to take care of these guys that are on foot first. Hopefully I can target them without being targeted by the guy with the rocket launcher. He is um, my main concern. So what I will actually do, there's a nice spot that I know for a fact that you can snipe him from unless he moved for some weird reason. If you sit next to this clover looking thing, should be able to... Um, that's not where he is. He's right there. There he is. What's up, dude? Um, the sniper rifle, um, it has a few advantages, such as if you move the C-stick up and down, you can zoom in and out. Um, hold R, you can strafe back and forth like normal, and then use the C-stick, you can also look around that way, if you're more used to that. Oh, and by the way, if you if you saw Django Fett looking up right there, they're like these flying things that'll target you and knock you over every once in a while. You might want to get rid of them if you hear them. Um, but yeah, the sniper, it's very good. It's a one-shot kill to the head, usually about a two-shot to the body, depending on where you hit them. Um, but the only real thing is the idle sway. It's absolutely wretched if you just try and like sit there and target a guy from a distance like hard scoping the whole time it's it's very difficult to pull off um, so don't go trying to you know super snipe people in this game it's nigh on impossible let's pick up that guy's rockets um, 
I don't think this guy has a bounty. I think, also, I don't know if you can do this normally, but you can zoom in with your scanner as well. I think it only works if you have a sniper rifle. Don't quote me on that, but, um, that's what I thought. Alright, then, there's actually a bounty up there. And this guy we need to rope up. Most of the guys in this level you have to rope up. I'll point out the guys that you should not. And we can begin a little action sequence. Oh, and if you didn't notice before, um, it's very, very nice if you um, shoot next... Oh my god! Oh my god! Well, that was cheap. I was about to explain how to kill Nexus, and then a Nexus killed me. Um, but I will liberally, liberally use my continues for this level because to be honest this is a very hard level turn around dude haha shot you with a dart while you were lunging that's funny um, yes uh, poison darts are very very super duper helpful for against Nexus because Nexus um, will take a lot of blaster fire but as with most living beings in the game it will go down with one poison dart. Lots of pick up, uh, there's a lot of pickups here in the Nexus lair. Go ahead and scrounge around if you want. What is this guy doing? Hey though, er if you can hear that noise, there's a sniper up in this post over here. Um, we're going to ignore him. They usually don't have too good of aim, at least from a distance, but they do a lot of damage if they hit you in the head. Like, I'm talking like half your damage, sometimes more. Um, so just be careful, and if you can, I've done this before, you can kind of snipe him. You can counter snipe him. I have one shot. Alright, let's see if I can pull this off. This is probably going to be a pretty long episode, seeing as this level um, took me... There, we counter sniped him, perfect. This level took me... Okay, it took me like two hours to do in practice. But I was moving really slow, so it's probably going to be about four episodes long. I mean, we're seven minutes in. We only have, like, uh, two bounties. What? That's not the right guy? That is the right guy. Come on. Don't lie to me, game. That's a bounty. Don't lie to me. Well, okay then. I guess it just wants to be a pain in the butt and tell me that guy's not a bounty, when in reality he is, because I know that the bounty hides out over there. So what is going on, game? Why are you teasing me? Well, anyway, um, what we can do is climb up here and Voila, we got a guy sitting up here, and he is actually a bounty, so let's grab him very quickly and make our way back down. Um, something to note in this level, most of the bounties use uh, green blaster fire rather than regular red, so that's a pretty nice way to tell apart the bounties from the non-bounties. Okay, seriously, where is this dude? I know he's over here. He's always, always over here. It's really ticking me off that I can't find him. Oh, what the f- He's never over there! Oh, come on! Don't give me that bowl game. Yeah, the guys in this large room- Er, pff, room. This large portion of the area of the forest, um, they do roam around. So, you'll notice them on their patrol. Um, but I do... You can actually sneak by most of them since they're on, like, a patrol cycle. So you could, you know, pull, like, a Legend of Zelda and sneak past them all. But I just enjoy killing them because they're all just grands, so they're pretty easily taken down. But unfortunately, we do have to deal with another Nexu. Glad I looked up the name because it seems like I'm using it a lot. There we go. Got him. Sniping with poison darts. Never would have thought. Pick up the health. And we can be on our way and out of this stupid room. 
Gosh, like 10 minutes already, and we've done nothing. We have four bounties. Wow. That just shows how long this level is. It's so tedious. Seriously? Like, this would be one of those levels where I'd suggest, honestly, just screw it. Do not even try and collect all the bounties in this level, because there's 15. So, just be like, just be like, you know, screw it. I'm not going to get all that stuff. Oh, come on. That guy always sees me. Uh, you'll notice a different type of enemy. They are the Dugs in this area. They actually tend to carry something a little bit different than some of the other enemies we've seen. They carry uh, a lot of grenades, usually. Um, so they're the grenadiers of the game, I suppose. They have a little bit less health, but they have a smaller hitbox. I actually find them, personally, to be pretty easy to take down. There's nothing that special about them. Um, up on that cliff up here... You'll notice there's a guy standing there. Don't really have to worry about him, but there's also a guy standing like behind those trees. He has a turret. We cannot take out this tur uh, that turret at this particular time, so don't even worry about it. Because if you're on a lower level than the turret, um, you cannot actually take it out. Um, sniping tip in all games in general. If you can see with your depth per... Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, let me rephrase this sentence. Sniping tip. If you if there is a guy that you want to snipe behind another guy you want to snipe, kill the guy behind first. Because, think about it, naturally, the other guy won't notice until later. So, that's just an easy way to figure it out. You know, it's just, it's logic in video games that actually works. <gasps> what? I know, right? Using logic in video games. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but the swamp always is really weird for me because it sounds like you can hear a Geiger counter. And if you've ever played the game Half-Life 2... Oh, please don't kill me. You stupid piece of crap. There we go. That was pretty epic. Um, if you've ever played the game Half-Life 2, there'll be like these acid swamp portions where you're, like a Geiger counter starts ticking, and it reminds me of that. And, uh... Like, you just hear this crackling noise in the background of the swamp. I don't know what it is, but it just reminds me of that Half-Life 2 portion of the game. Where did you come from, man? I don't think... Wait a minute. Mm... Is there a bounty in this area? Uh, if so, then I have forgotten. Hmm. Two, number three, number four, we have number four, number five. Oh no, there isn't one. I didn't think there was. Um, this is really annoying because there's another turret up there, so we're just gonna have to boost um, between these little sections and hope to survive. Oh god, what the heck? I didn't remember there being a grenadier. Is he gonna keep firing those? because it's really going to take me off. Um, let's see if we can't counter-snipe this guy. You're moving the wrong way, Django. Oh, it doesn't look like he's firing. Oh. Oh! Oh, duh. That's why I don't remember this guy. In actuality, um, in my previous uh, practice file that I was playing on, um, this is the guy that's standing next to the turret dude, and I sniped him before, so I didn't have to worry about him. So actually, what I said before, don't listen to me. Um, go ahead and snipe him if you want. He's not that big of a nuisance, but, you know. It's a nuisance that can be easily remedied. And that is a nuisance that I like to take care of. Take out the other turret guy with your own turret that you've just picked up. And boost on down. Boost down down to Kansas. Um, stay... I was just about to say, stay clear of the door because three guys were gonna, were gonna pop their heads out of there. Um, looks like I was a little too late on that. Um, we can pick up these rockets and be on our merry way. But I think before we head through this door, I will save this part for the next episode. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next time.